Okay, recently I purchased a GoPro Hero 3 Silver camera. Uh, my plans were to replace the little point-and-shoot Panasonic that I've been using for a while for outdoor videos and camping and hiking and stuff like that. And uh, so I had been looking at the GoPros, uh, had held off for a while, but decided to give them a try. And uh, so I picked one up. And the video quality is fine. I'm really happy with the video quality, but the audio is uh, left a little bit to be desired. So I've been looking at some options out there for better audio quality. I uh, picked up a little lapel mic uh, with a USB adapter that plugs into the side of the camera. It's a Movo GM100. Uh, and it did fine. The problem I had was occasionally I would get some static and uh, noise and, I, and you wouldn't know that I was going to that had been picking up that noise until of course I got home and looked at the video and not only did it give me the static and the noise and stuff since the adapter was plugged in I didn't get any on board audio from the camera so basically I got no audio at all when I got home so that was a problem and I I emailed uh, Movo I haven't gotten an answer back from them but did a little bit of troubleshooting and from best I can figure the connection where the lapel mic, the little three and a half millimeter plug or eighth inch jack, where it plugged into the adapter in, uh, for the camera, if the connection wasn't good and solid, you got some potential for some static there. So I did some playing, figured out that was what I thought the issue was. So I'm going to show you here in just a second what I did to uh, hopefully resolve that issue. But what you're hearing now is the audio from the uh, lapel mic. The lapel mic's attached to the camera, just below the camera. So it's uh, this is the audio that you would hear if I left the, the uh, mic attached up by the camera. I'm going to give you a sample here in just a second of the audio of the onboard audio as well as some audio with the lapel mic attached on my shirt so you can get an idea of the, the three different uh, samples of what the audio would sound like so uh, I'm gonna walk over here by my uh, attic fan give you a little idea of some ambient noise uh, I'm still talking the same volume but you can probably hear the attic fan uh, some ambient sound that gives you an idea of what it would sound like if you were in a somewhat little bit noisier environment so I'm gonna do the same with the onboard audio and then also with the mic attached to my shirt here Okay, here I am with the onboard audio. Uh, this is in the housing that I modified, which you'll see uh, here at the end. If you haven't already seen that, I took a, a waterproof housing I picked up off of eBay, made some slight modifications to it to accommodate the USB adapter as well as to maybe give it a little bit better audio quality when I was not using the mic at all. But uh, this is what it sounds like with just the onboard adapter or onboard audio, no adapter, no external mic. And uh, here I am uh, over by my attic, outdoor attic fan. Uh, it give you an idea of what the audio sounds like with a little ambient noise as well. Next, uh, I'll let you hear what it sounds like with the mic attached to my shirt. Okay, sample number three with the mic attached to my shirt. So this would be an option if I was uh, looking for the best quality I could get while I was out and about as far as audio goes. Um, or maybe if it was a windier day or um, just a noisier environment or something like that. But it gives me the option. Uh, overall, it's uh, not terribly inconvenient. Uh, pretty easy to carry this way. Here's you a sample of what it might sound like if I was in a little windier environment or a noisier environment under my attic fan here. So hopefully this is uh, helpful. And uh, I'll give you a shot here of what the uh, modifications I did to fix the static, as well as, uh, if you hadn't already seen it, some of the mods I did to the case of the camera. This is what I've done so far, so thanks a lot. Okay, so this is the, this is the setup that, I, that I've got right now that I'm testing. Uh, this is a, a waterproof, an old waterproof housing for the Hero 3 Plus. I think this is one that used to be on the original Hero 3 Plus. They changed it a little bit, but this is one I picked up on eBay pretty cheap, 12 bucks with free shipping. I, I drilled a hole here over the USB port, and then I also drilled a hole here 
over that mic and there's actually another hole under here you can't really see it but it's under there where the other mic was so that's the uh, the holes that I've modified in the in the housing and of course it's also got the skeleton back so this mic that's on here is the Movo GM100 uh, with a USB adapter and lapel mic and what I did was I zip tied the adapter the end of the adapter right to the the skeleton housing back here. I saw that picture. I saw a picture of that on on the on internet somewhere. Where somebody had done something similar. So I tried that, and that kind of stabilizes that connector there, so you're not putting any real pressure on over here on the on the USB plug. And then also the problem I was having was the lapel mic, where it plugs in to the the, the three and a half millimeter plug right here. I was getting, I guess, kind of maybe a loose connection, sort of. So every once in a while, when I go to record a video, I get a lot of static and noise and just really totally a useless bit of video. So what I did was, uh, after I secured this, well, first uh, I took a piece of, I took these two and connected them, and I took a piece of heat shrink tube and threaded over it and and sealed it up nice and snug there. So these two are pretty. It's a pretty solid connection between the lapel mic and the USB adapter and then I zip tied that to the housing there and uh, yeah it, it sort of makes that pretty much uh, semi-permanent I guess you would call it but uh, I can unplug this whenever I don't want to use the that and then I can take the camera see I can just unplug this and actually take the camera out of the housing well I'm not gonna do it but I can flip it open and take the camera out of the housing, put it in the other waterproof housing without a problem. Uh, so that, you know, I can use it in the other housing, but it pretty much dedicates this housing, unless I cut the zip ties, to using this mic. Now the mic itself, it's got plenty of cord here. I've just got it clipped onto the, the little screw, thumb screw there. I'm probably going to come up with a little bit better way to connect the mic, but this does make it where I can, I can undo this and actually attach it to my uh, shirt when I'm talking but that's what I'm gonna try for now it's it's compact enough that uh, I'm comfortable taking that hiking with me I'll probably also carry my waterproof housing if I want to take that and uh, put it in the waterproof housing when I want to protect it even more but uh, the audio just is a lot better this way and it's what I would consider convenient enough that I would actually take it and use it this way and so I'm gonna keep playing with it some more but uh, for now that, I think that's what I'm gonna do for for hiking trips um, you know granted it's not quite as cable free and and, um, and compact I guess as my point-and-shoot camera that I had but the video quality I'm getting off of here is better than what I was getting on my point-and-shoot and now the audio is uh, is even uh, better really than what I get on my point-and-shoot so overall it does give me a better product video and audio uh, and I've got the uh, ability to, to put it in the waterproof housing and get some pretty pretty cool waterproof shots if I want to too so that's what I've done so far and I hope somebody finds that helpful um, you know, I looked around for some options on on YouTube and the internet and didn't really find a whole lot but uh, hopefully this somebody else will find this helpful but this is what I've done so far so thanks a lot